Okay, so this is it all powered on. Um, so you can see if I move my hand forward like that, if you look at the camera at the bottom, you'll see the camera con continues to face forwards. Yeah, and again, if I look at it this way, you see if I move my hand, the camera still stays horizontal. So I'll show you from the front. So here's the camera. You see I'm moving my hand about quite a bit here. Or I can move my body. And it tries its best to keep the camera in the same place. Out here. Yeah. So you can see that even though I'm moving my uh, camera around quite a lot, my hand around quite a lot, and obviously it's going to move the picture a bit, but Not that much. If I zoom in a bit so you can maybe see the uh, camera a bit more. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. So, I think it might be quite useful. If I jump up and down or something, you'll be able to see what it sort of does. And if I move from side to side, imagine that I'm, if I was flying or something like that. So, there you go, um, just to see, I'll give you, I'll just move it like that, yeah, and then we'll switch it off, and you'll see what it's doing, so, power off, so we're just going to keep moving it like that, yeah, power off, yeah, so, you know, it is doing quite a lot. Um, this bit that moves about, about uh, 30 quid, and the uh, controller board, about 10 quid, so 40 quid, and a bit of hacking in, the so in software, and you have a pretty stable gimbal. Okay, so these are just to give you a close-up uh, of this thing that I've built. So um, the bottom thing is just a standard gimbal, so basically. Uh, it's a two axis gimbal, and you can see there's a, a little servo here, and there's another servo in here. Um, so one servo moves it in that direction, and this servo moves it in this direction. So what I've done is, I've mounted on the top of it a uh, multi Wii based uh, quadcopter card, which is Arduino based, so you can program it. So uh, I've adjusted the programming so that it works just as a, gri a gimbal and not as a quadcopter. There's a little rectifier here and a battery powering it all. That's it. I stuck a sort of piece of metal and a handle on the back of it so I can hold it. And as I hold it and move it about, um, you know, it'll stabilise itself. So I'll just show you that now.